Welcome to Kaleidoscope is for IG. Let's talk. Sri Lanka has gone through several fate altering situations during the past three years, and the most impacted in society are the lower and middle income earners. Sri Lanka's highest food inflation rate was 94.9% in September 2022, as per the CCPI. The World Food Bank noted that Sri Lanka is among the top five countries with the highest food price inflation. While there is a marginal reduction in food inflation, it yet remains way beyond the everyday spending pattern of the regular Sri Lankan citizen. But where is this consumer pattern heading? With me today is Country Director of Nielsen IQ Sri Lanka, Terika Mianadenio, with some of the latest findings. Terika, welcome. Now, from the research you've conducted uh, in 2022, what are consumer patterns like? We see the consumption landscape changing. The consumption habits are changing, purchases changing, and we see the consumer trying to make do with whatever, whatever that he has in, in terms of uh, money. Uh, because the salaries are not increasing, but prices are increasing. So therefore, the consumer is trying to adopt uh, in order to survive in this environment. We see reduction in consumption for uh, quite a lot of categories. And uh, they are coping with uh, buying, purchasing smaller pack sizes, uh, purchasing in outlets where uh, you know, things are much cheaper. And also, they are reducing in purchase as well. So overall, how does inflation impact the consumer spending pattern? In March of 2022, inflation, food inflation was 30%. But within six months, it escalated to 86% uh, by September. And that is a phenomenal increase. And that did not increase uh, gradually. Right? It was sudden. And the way it has impacted the consumer is that they are now trying to reduce in consumption in buying patterns. We see that. Uh, you know, they are reducing purchase of even the essentials. The biggest hit in the beginning was things like uh, soft drinks and, and chocolates. But now, even essentials like rice and vegetables and, and meat are being impacted. And they are really uh, reducing purchase of even those items. So what are consumers looking for in this current environment and how do businesses get geared up for that? The biggest drops are for, as I mentioned, soft drinks, chocolates, fruits, vegetables, even uh, things like milk powder, uh, very high uh, increase uh, because of the price increases. Uh, we do see a slight increase in uh, uh, you know, uh, usage of uh, data, mobile data. In spite of the, all the essentials, drops in the purchase of essentials, we do see that there's a slight increase in uh, mobile data usage. So what are consumers actually looking for in this current environment and how should businesses gear themselves up to meet that? So they are looking for, uh, you know, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, you know, options where they can purchase smaller pack sizes, where the options are, you know, they are going from premium, they are lo looking for local uh, produce, more on to locally manufactured goods because they are cheaper. And they are also looking for ways and means of, uh, you know, uh, going along with their lifestyles but at a reduced pace right so what the, what the businesses need to do is to understand what the consumer is facing right and go along with that now businesses can actually you know introduce more affordable pack sizes they can have promotions you know to keep the brand alive because sometimes you know if the brand is not being uh, propagated people tend to forget and also, we, uh, you know, they can uh, look for a replacement categories. So your predictions for 2023, what are the pitfalls? What are the positives? We do see a little bit of uh, relief coming in. We see that the inflation is going down. But that does not mean that the prices have come down. It means that the price hikes are uh, sort of normalizing at a high, high rate. Prices are still high. Uh, and then we see increases in tourist arrivals. We see escalations in, uh, you know, uh, uh, foreign exchange remittances coming back. Uh, and then also we see uh, the government, uh, you know, industry also contributing to that. So all in all, there is positivity coming back. But we need to see how this will actually impact the common man. So yes, we live in a state of flux, in a state of uncertainty. But as you said, I hope that resilience that Sri Lankans have continues. Thank you so much for joining us today, Terika. Our partners are really the best skills for inclusive growth at Australian Aid, Serinko Life, CDB, The Morning Newspaper, Park Street Gourmet and Zip Zip. Thank you. If you like Kaleidoscope, subscribe and follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn.